the frontier. After the first 360-degree panoramic photograph of Mars. And all those years we'd pictured fire. A neon sign blinking vacancy. A world as red as that inside our bodies, but without the claustrophobia, the low ceilings of our skin. We didn't think of a sky azure only at sunset, or stones, a similar blue, scattered across the regolith. Now we know this pair of weary moons, the first one painfully slow, a pinprick, taking three days to move across our vision. The second, Phobos, is the western origin of fear, misshapen, mold gray. Every four hours it rises like the last potato of the famine. And by now I know, as you must, what it means to lose your lakes and oceans, to creak inside the riverbed, cross its sockets and arthritic elbows, to think of rain as a form, a tome of bygone remedies. I can only dream of what snow must do for the desert. The camera pans this world like earth pocked by canyons. Like liberty, the surface looks aged, a green patina. Over dune and dust, the rover's tracks are the only disturbance. Like a sidewinder or wagon ruts, the trail circles and circles itself again. Again, the ground made target practice. We come in peace, curiosity says, but that's how all our ships began.